Hi YouTube viewers, today I wanted to share with you a project I've done during this past winter and that was to see just how many flashlights I could install in my 2011 Mazda 3 GT Sport without them taking up any real usable storage space. Some parameters I set for this project are 1. I can't use screws because I don't want to put holes into my interior trim pieces. 2. For continuity all the flashlights need to be the same brand, be affordable and have a variety of sizes, lumens and modes. For this reason, I decided to use LifeGear flashlights as they have designed their products to be more oriented for emergency use, have multiple modes, and don't break the bank either. 3. I can't use any existing storage spaces like door or seat pockets, cup holders, the center console, or the glove box. 4. When it's all done, it needs to look clean as if it's OEM. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the solutions I've come up with. So let's get started. So the first light to show you is this LifeGear Glow Spotlight I installed in this indentation in the cargo area just under an access panel. It's a 60 lumen light with multiple modes and includes a red light in the back that can either flash or stay on all the time. The bracket holding it in place is one of the simplest too, being a steel strap bent to conform to the shape of the liner with the bends being so tight it simply clamps into place. A velcro strap keeps the flashlight firmly in place and makes for easy removal too. Up next we have this LifeGear Glow Flashlight which I installed just above the Glow Spotlight on this plastic trim ledge in the hatch just behind the rear passenger seat. This is a 40 lumen light with multiple modes similar to the Glow Spotlight just in a smaller form factor. Because of its location this light is accessible from either the rear hatch or from the rear passenger door. I designed and 3D printed a three-piece bracket which was specifically designed to hold this flashlight and prevent any kind of movement on the X, Y, or Z axes and used a velcro strap to lock it down. The bracket itself is installed using double-sided foam tape as using screws was not an option. The next group of flashlights is hidden and are also the smallest in the set. They can be found by opening this access panel where you'll find four life geared glow sticks firmly held in place against this sound dampening foam pad. These glow sticks also have a flashlight on the end rated at 8 lumens each and they all have the same multi modes as the other two lights. This unique bracket was designed and 3D printed to fit specifically on the inside of this access panel and was attached using double sided foam tape. I really like how this one turned out as it's just the pressure of the bracket pushing the glow sticks against the foam pad that's holding them firmly in place. The next flashlight has more lumens than all the others combined and that's this LifeGear Searchlight which has 300 lumens and is installed opposite the glow flashlight on the same plastic trim ledge but on the driver's side in the rear hatch area. Like the glow flashlight it's also accessible from either the rear hatch or through the driver's side rear passenger door. This light is from LifeGear's prepared gear line of flashlight and features a more durable anodized aluminum construction. It has your typical high and low modes as well as a red flasher but even more interesting on the back it has an emergency rescue beacon that the manufacturer claims can be seen from up to 2.5 miles away. The bracket is a simpler two piece design and was 3D printed and installed using double sided foam tape. Simply pull on the velcro strap to remove. So I saved the best for last. This last solution also proved to be the most challenging and that was installing this LifeGear Pro Series Red Alert 500 flashlight on the inside of the driver's door. This is the biggest flashlight in the group and at 500 lumens it's brighter than all the other 7 lights I've shown you combined. It's also the heaviest at around 1 pound and it's made from aircraft grade machined aluminum with a rubber grip and it's got a really tough tactical look to it. It's got your standard high and low modes as well as a strobe, but it also has a red LED tail cap flasher for emergency signaling. There were multiple challenges to overcome with the bracket design as using the passenger side as an example, you can see just how narrow the gap between the door and the seat is and I also wanted a design that would allow the light to be removed when the door is closed too, which would mean it would have to be top loading. After carefully taking measurements and doing mock-ups, I came up with a bracket design which ultimately would hang the flashlight off the side of the storage compartment on the door. Two 3D printed brackets would distribute the weight of the flashlight which is held in place by two velcro straps. The brackets themselves are stuck onto the side of the door using double sided foam tape but as a redundancy I also have velcro straps on the tops of the brackets torquing it down to the inside of the storage compartment which you can't see. 
This was done just as an extra precaution. After I had it all installed, I did notice there was too much flex and vibration when closing the door, since this part of the door was now carrying the extra weight. As you can see, the flex using the passenger side door as an example. The solution was to 3D print a brace, which I then installed to make the door more rigid, albeit dividing the storage compartment up, but was necessary as it eliminated the vibration problem. Out of all the flashlights I installed, this is most definitely my favorite. It's virtually unnoticeable when the door is closed, but it definitely commands a presence when the door is open and the presentation of how it's hung off the door only adds to its bold, tactical look. Well, there you have it. Eight flashlights installed in the car without sacrificing any of the storage space. I hope you find this video useful and inspiring. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and feel free to leave your comments or questions below. Thanks for watching.